In this tutorial, let's see what are the differences between two RTU 5024 GSM modules or GSM relay controllers from two different manufacturers. All right, let's unbox it. All right, this is an old RTU 1524. As you can see, some components are missing. You can see this is a new one. Uh, as you can see, we get the same GSM antenna and same connectors. This one's connectors are missing. Uh, you get the same card for uh, Q with the QR codes for the RTU app and the RTU user manual. They both use the same uh, app and they both have the same instruction uh, user manual as well. Okay, if you look at the housing, they both have the same housing. You can see there's no difference between this housing uh, of this unit. Now let's see what is inside. All right, I'm going to disassemble these units. Okay, now you can see the differences in the PCB or the circuit board of these units. Let's take these uh, PCBs out and see uh, what are the differences in each unit. If you look at this unit, I'm going to focus. All right, you can see the first thing, they use the same components in the power supply circuit. Uh, as you can see, it's LM2996 uh, switching regulators, two switching regulators, and the both units, and also uh, the 1117 regulator linear regulator uh, present present in both units you can see the power input components the pdc the diode the capacitor and all these uh, components are the same even the coil values are the same in this case so power circuit they use the same power circuit for both units but when it comes to the GSM module, you can see the difference. This one is uh, M26 uh, and this one is M35. You can see uh, these are two different packages, but the same manufacturer. So they use a different GSM module in these units. Okay, if you look at the microcontroller they use, this one is 8C2K. 64 S4 microcontroller from STC. Uh, this one is 8F 2K 32 S2 microcontroller from the from STC. This one is a uh, upgraded version of this microcontroller. So this one have a better microcontroller with higher memory. Uh, if you look at here, this is the EEP ROM IC. Both have these ICs. If you look at here, this one 
used 24C64 EEP ROM IC. This one used uh, 24C128, which have a high memory compared to this one. All right, let's move to the switching circuit. If you look at the switching circuit, uh, this one, the old one, have a optocoupler uh, in the switching circuit to isolate the relay switching circuit from the microcontroller but this one doesn't have that which is not good All right, the switching circuit in this case this one switching circuit is good compared to this one all right uh, let's move to the other side if you look at the sim socket you can see three pins. Three pins are not plated. Uh, this one's uh, have all pins uh, plated. Uh, that is good because oxidization can prevent the contact between the SIM pads and the pins of these uh, SIM chocolates. All right. If you look at here, we have this. Uh, capacitors and resistors this one doesn't have these uh, capacitors these capacitors are required and it is mentioned on the GSM module data sheet so this one doesn't have these uh, components comparing to this one so this one have these components uh, that is good so the GSM circuit uh, is good compared to this one. These are the differences between these two units. If you like to know more about RTU 1524, visit the website article. The links are in the description. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you like this type of content, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in another tutorial.